Welcome. Please wave your hand to continue. Please tell me your name and then we'll start finding out more about you. Zach. All right, Zach. Let's see where your reading ability is at and we can work from there. I'm going to show you a number of sentences. I want you to read them back to me aloud. You can go as slow or as fast as you'd like and I'll tell you when we'll stop. If you'd like to manually stop, raise your hand for five seconds. I want that. He went back to sleep. I ha have a bad stum stum much stum much a uh, arch. You've chosen to end the activity. We'll use this graph to track your progress. Each week, I'll give you a similar test to the one you just took, and over time we'll see how you're progressing. Eventually, using this graph, you'll be able to see how far you've come. I've determined that you're currently sitting at level 1 in terms of literacy. Going forward, I've catered some activities for you to help you raise that level. Your activities are split up into two categories. The first option is reading, and the second is writing. For now, we're going to stick to the reading tasks. Here are the available reading tasks. While it may not always be possible for you to practice daily, we recommend that you do practice as often as possible in order to see progress in your reading ability. The first reading task is read a passage. In this mode, I'll give you a passage from a book, short story, or poem to read. I'll base this passage on what your current reading ability is, and it should be challenging enough to help you improve. The second reading task is sentence reading. This mode is very similar to the test you just took, where you had to read various sentences. However, in this reading task, I'm able to assist you in reading sentences and we can continue for as long as you'd like with the sentences progressing in difficulty. For now, let's stick to read a passage. Like before, if you need to stop at any time, just raise your hand in the air for five seconds. Otherwise, I'll let you know when it's time to stop. In read a passage, I'll assist you when I think you're having trouble. Additionally, if you want help with any specific words, clench your hand together in a fist and then open it back up. This will let me know to inform you more about a certain word. If you're ready to start, give me a thumbs up. Alright, let's start. Today's passage is a poem titled One Broken Knife. It was written by Carmen Lee Keats. There's... A uh, right, right, rightness in using one knight. You've indicated that you need help with your current word. That word is knife. It seems like in particular you've been having trouble with the silent K at the beginning of the word. Try it again, remembering that you don't need to make the K sound at the beginning of the word. Knife for everything. To di di divide, Div. uh, dividing the bul bulbs of daffo dill dills. Let's just repeat that part so we know we're improving. Like the spirit. I think we'll stop there for now. You did quite well with your first reading task. The next time you return, we'll be able to repeat today's passage and I'll give you a new passage. As you continue to improve your reading ability, you'll be able to move forward onto writing tasks. In these tasks, you'll be asked to copy given pieces of text Fill out forms and put together sentences yourself. However, I don't recommend you approach these tasks just yet as they're slightly outside of your literacy level. I think we've practiced enough for today. Of course, if you'd like to keep on reading, feel free to choose an activity and we'll continue. 
To indicate which activity you'd like to select, raise the corresponding amount of fingers to each activity. If you'd like to quit, raise your hand for 5 seconds.